My name's Tina Gade and I work here at RoboRace as Vehicle Science Engineer. RoboRace is different because it's about AI competing against AI. The bit that is facing that challenge and that week in week out competition is the AI itself and it's going to be a platform that hopefully will bring AI to the public's attention, give them a better understanding of what it is, but also make people understand that actually it's something that our futures depend on and is a very, very important technology going forward. The thing that's the hardest for the AI to learn, or to learn sort of out on the public roads and out in the open environment, is the difficult cases. For example, the cat running out in front of the car, the child kicking the ball and it bouncing in the street. They're events that don't happen very often, and as a result, they're the things that we need to train the AI with in a simulated world. We're in this period where we're going to have a combination of both AI and humans trying to use the roads at once. And the real difficulty is predicting what the humans do, rather than what, predicting what the other AIs do. And once we can sort of live in that combined situation, then we can move forward towards having a completely AI-driven world. Boat racing is quite um, challenging, basically, because you work to very short time cycles. The pressure is always there to deliver results, so the aim is to always be faster than the previous year, faster than the next team. Um, and that's quite challenging, and that's, that's the bit that I really enjoy. The new technology, the new challenges of engineering move on so quickly that it's really, really important you stay on top of your learning and don't get left behind, because it's, it's a fascinating subject anyway. On a daily basis, I would say at some point, I go back to what I learned at university, you know, that you still at the time when you're learning it, you're never really sure how you're going to apply it in the future, but actually going back to those first principles, you find yourself doing that day in, day out, and it's so helpful to have had a, been to a great university like UCL. I think the thing RoboRace is going to do is actually to demystify a lot of what it is that the robots are doing when they're driving, and actually provide a platform for people to see what it is that the machines are capable of, and, and to perhaps build some trust in the AI drivers.